You know, when we posted the situation on Say Cheese, a lot of people felt like, you know, you're always giving financial literacy. You're always putting people on game. She should have been up by now by taking some of your OnlyFans advice. You know, you're with her every day. Why isn't she up in the hundreds of thousands like yourself? Bro, listen, you know why? Let, let me tell you why. Like I said, I'm not here to just go crazy on her, but this is for all women. Stop sitting on Instagram tiktok twitter all day if it's not paying your bills i don't care if this nigga got money or not don't depend become independent for some reason every time i used to walk in a room this is what turns me off about a woman if i see you i'm i even said finesse won't you just hop in a video with me and act like you know how to do fucking credit act like you know how to do amazon she said, how can I do that? I don't know. When a person say they don't know, you instantly kill your whole self. I don't know what to do. What you mean you don't know? Learn. It takes, you've been, you've been with me all this time. You supposed to have been a woman. You supposed to, you supposed to have been the woman leader for financial literacy. She supposed to be the top girl for that. Everybody that look up to me, girls don't like to follow guys, but they have followed a guy girl, right? And if the guy girl is like an airhead or not all the way smart, it's like, what the hell? You know what I mean? Shorty should be very, very rich by herself. She supposed to be selling courses. She supposed to be doing education on YouTube. She supposed to be doing all that, bro. You know what I mean? And that's what throws me off because I look at the future and I see like, damn, why be around opportunity if you don't know how to use it or won't take it? But then you send me pictures of Ari and Jada talking about, look what little baby did for Jada or look what little Dirk did for Ari. And like, shorty, I'm not them. So at the end of the day, you got to understand that I'm not trying to be them. I'm not them. And I'm not doing that shit. You know what I mean? I got my own situation. I'd rather somebody send your profile picture talking about, look at Bam Man girl doing this, teaching this. You know what I mean? Did you ever did you ever give her the opportunity or were you always trying to keep her out of the spotlight? No, bro. No, listen, listen. I tried my best. Remember, I even told you. Remember I told you to post that photo when I did this, when I did that? Yeah. And dude, man, bro. I, even on her birthday, you wanted me to post her and come put on, her out man. there in the spotlight. Come on. Going out to eat with friends, paying celebrities to be your friend, paying celebrities to shout her out, bro. Paying celebrities, not because they just wanted to be her friend. These girls wanted to be, they, I said, man, I had to, I, I got myself in a very bad situation, you know, trying to make her blow up. You know what I'm saying? I let's let's like, talk man, about that. I let's talk about the, let's talk about the YouTube situation. The YouTuber. Okay, listen. So I, you know, you know, you seen her around a lot of celebrities, you know what I mean? And, you know, I paid a few girls. I, I done begged them, please, you know what I'm saying? Just hang out with her, you know, help her grow. This is this. And you know what I didn't like about what she did? She will get her, she will get around another girl. She will get around another girl. And she want a friend so bad. She want a shoulder to cry on. She wants somebody to feel sorry for her, feel bad for her. And my thing is, though, you have someone that's getting paid $80,000 for mentorship. Why are you taking advice from other people? You don't know who's jealous of you. You don't know what somebody's motive is with you, right? So. Long story short, you know what I mean? Um, I ran into Kayla Nicole. You know what I mean? She a big YouTuber. She one of the first girls that, um, you know, I, I, I put on a dime. You know what I mean? Suki was one of them. Um, you know, I was hollering at Suki. Shout out to Suki. Um, I ended up putting Suki, you know, in tune with Kayla. You know what I mean? I mean, I ended up putting Suki in tune with Don. You know, they started rocking out. Me and Bill became cool as hell. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Bill. Um, then I put Kayla Nicole, you know what I'm saying, and Don together. But I had to go through so much with Kayla Nicole, you know what I mean? So when I first met Kayla Nicole, you know, it started off as, you know what I'm saying, damn, I see you popping on YouTube, man, you know, let's work, let's do something. And then she had and she had hit me back talking about some you kind of cute type shit. I'm like, damn, okay. Shit, um, this ain't my type of girl, but shit, I'm finna try to finesse some shit type shit. So I called my homie. Wait, wait, so we're talking about the Kayla Nicole with five million subscribers. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I ain't gonna cap. So um she hit me back. I tell Juice, I'm like, damn, G like you know, Kayla Nicole chick shit. She she talking about link up when I'm in Atlanta. I'm like, shit, I'm in Atlanta, I stay in Atlanta type shit. 
So she said, all right, we're going to plan it. I'm just getting this. You know, I'm, my manager giving me problems. I see you smart and I've been seeing your videos, this, this, and this. I'm like, all right, bet. So I tell her my whole situation about, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get to this next level with this YouTube shit. You know what I'm saying? I might need to do a video with her. I got this girl. I'm trying to help blow up all types of shit. What I need to pay. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to money, it's just like, whatever. She like, shit, we'll, we'll, we'll work it out or whatever shit. Let's go out to eat and, do, you know, go from there. I take I take it to the Cheesecake Factory in um Linux type shit. No, not Linux, um Phipps. Phipps. It was no was that Cheesecake Factory or Grand Lux? I think it was Grand Lux. It was either Cheesecake Factory or Grand Lux. We go there, fans coming up to me, fans coming up to her. I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Type shit. I'm thinking niggas gonna catch us up right there, type shit, cause she was telling me about the guy. The whole time she was complaining to me about the, the guy she had. She like, well, you know, I'll put I'll help your girl out. But you got to try to help my my guy out type shit. You know what I mean? Put him on this, put him on that. And I'm like, bro, this shit got to be in you. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to do this, this, and this, you, it got to be in you. Like, hustle is in you. It's like, I can help. I can turn a nigga up and do whatever, but still got to be in you type shit. Okay, boom. So, I guess uh, he go to Alabama or something like that. She was like, okay, he out of Alabama for two days, but when he called, I'm going to just be picking up the phone and shit like that. I'm like, all right, cool. I said, where you at? She dropped below. I go to her crib. So I'm like, man, so man, you gonna for she you gonna turn her up for sure. You gonna put you gonna put damn on your channel and shit like that. She was like, yeah. So I'm like, all right, cool, I'm gonna put y'all in the group after this, you know, type shit. But I'm gonna slide over y'all, go over her house, we vibe and she show up in some laundry. At first, when I get in the crib, I I damn near see that motherfucker was nice for her age, gang. I'm like, damn, she got a nice ass crib type shit. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I walk in the crib, um, she had a like this little dog and shit. And um, we go upstairs. You know what I'm saying? We just land there and then we just get to it type shit. Now, whole time, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, I told Will, I'm, I'm on the phone with Will type shit. Well, I'm texting Will at first. I'm like, man, I'm, I got to go crazy. So before I even slid on her, I took two packs of honey, folk. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what? You know what's crazy, right? I ain't even being funny, right? What's crazy? I said, if I'm going to hit, I need to go crazy because she got a lot of followers. So I low key need to just, just, cause like I said, I don't know what homie doing, but if she trying to link up with me, I need to go crazy folk because oh my mama brought, I brought, I brought, I brought lube and everything. So, okay, boom, we, we, we going crazy for damn near about an hour straight. So now she like, she like, damn, that was crazy. This and this. I took my Uber back. She was texting me heart signs. Boom, boom, boom. She like, okay, uh, when I'm, this was a couple days later, you know what I'm saying? She checking in on me. I'm like, what you got going on? She like, none, I miss you. I mean, uh, daddy and all this. She was like, can you cash out me 2,500? This is a couple days. Boom. I cash out 2,500. She like, oh, I like these shoes. Buy me these shoes. Boom. I said, all right, cool. I sent her the shoes. So I'm like, damn. Um, so when you going to get in tune with damn and shit? She like, um, I got you. So they start getting in tune type shit. We in Miami. Damn birthday come up. I'm like, man, bro, can you come to damn birthday? She like, uh, yeah, I come to her birthday or whatever. Just fly me out. Boom, I fly her out. Give her five bands. Whole time, she like, shit. Let's do something. Let's 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 um let's um let's um sneak and do this, this and this. But she was like, but only bad thing is, I I brought my man. He out here with me, and he like damn near wanted to come type shit. So I'm like, but I was like, I, I, I'm gonna tell him it's an all girls thing type shit. So she finessed him. He's staying there. So he at the hotel. He, I mean, he had the Airbnb, I guess, with his guys or whatever. She say, um, she like, damn, I want to do something on the boat. I'm like, man, I ain't trying to get caught fucking you on the boat on Dime's birthday. Like, you get what I'm saying? So I'm like, no, nah, we can't do that. Then she like, oh, well, just, we, we just figured out. So so I'm, I, that's this this initiation. So Dime tell me, damn, she was acting kind of like she she didn't want to be around. I'm like, oh, no, nah, she probably just acting shy the whole time. Of course, it's weird because she fucking with me. You get it? So, you know, Dime is growing on her and Dime is a person that she's, she's really about friends. She's about friends. So I'm just like, damn, she, she comes, when she get friends, she feel like she, it's like, she feels like they, if they do a little something, oh my God, they, they show so much love for me. They doing like, even though I'm the one putting all this shit together, you get what I'm saying? So it's like a smack in the face to me of, and like whole time, shorty, I'm putting this shit together for you. Like I'm the one you should be like really worried about type shit. So she like, um, so Kayla go back home. I fly her out again. You know what I mean? This is like months later. I fly her out again. She tell me, um, she tell me type shit. She pregnant and shit. I'm like, Oh shit. She pregnant. 
You know what I mean? So I'm damn near low-key scared as hell. I'm like, damn, who baby you think it is type shit? She like, oh, well, you know, it got to be, uh, you know, because this is, I'm like, I bet. Okay, cool. So I just fell back of, off talking to her type shit. Next thing you know, she had a baby. She like, oh, my God, I'm so stressed out. I miss you. Da, 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 da. I need this. Send me this. I, I send her some bread. Um, she fly out. Now, her and Don have been building the relationship over the time. You get it? So this been over the time. They posting each other. This is this. We went to her baby shower, all types of shit, right? So me and Kayla, every time me and Kayla used to talk, Kayla was always mad about me doing stuff for Dime. Like she should do stuff herself. And I, I bought my own Benz truck. I got my own house. And you know what I mean? So I used to always, I never paid attention to it. I never cared about it. I'm just like, okay. You know what I mean? Like, of course, every girl going to say that, that you messing with. You feel me? So she was always talking about Dime or she was always talking about how much she was so stressed out being with the guy she was with. She was like, well, you know, only reason I'm with him because I grew up with him and he was down with me when I was broke. But, you know, he just don't know how to hustle. I, I'm taking care of him, you know, just like you're doing Dime and it's irritating and this is Ness and I wear the pants in a relationship and all this type of shit. So I'm like, okay, whatever. You know, I'm barely listening to that shit. I'm just like, are we finna do a YouTube video? You know what I mean? And I'm like, man, what? So she low key just finesse. And she basically like, fuck doing a YouTube video. Fuck doing a song. Just fuck me. And I'm just like, what the fuck? This bitch finesse. 